And joining me now from Lancaster, England, is Richard Johnson. He is a lecturer in US politics at Queen Mary University of London. Appreciate you joining us. Good morning. So according to CNN sources, more top House Democrats are calling on President Biden to step aside and suspend his 2024 campaign based on his poor debate performance. About 11 out of 213 House Democrats, so not very many really, but what do voters want? And what's the right next move for Democrats? Should they replace Joe Biden or get behind him? Well, the polls are showing that voters are increasingly anxious about Biden's age. You know, four years ago, there was uh, about 40% of voters thought that Biden was too old to be president, but that would have been overwhelmingly driven by Republican support supporters. Now the polls are showing something like three quarters of voters think Biden is too old to be president. And that therefore is including a very substantial proportion of Democratic voters. I think these calls from House members, while themselves not decisive, if they are part of a trajectory of more House members, and then we have senators, governors, and crucially, I think, congressional leadership, the speaker, majority leader, that pressure, will, will if, if that all came to pass, then I think there is a tipping point where Biden um, has to think about stepping aside. But ultimately, it is mostly his decision. Uh, I mean, he, he has 99% of the delegates at the Democratic Convention in August. And uh, if he's, he still wants to stay on, um, it's going to be pretty difficult for, for him to be removed uh, involuntarily. Right. And of course, uh, right now, President Biden remains defiant, hitting the campaign trail in Pennsylvania, saying he has the backing of his party. Do you agree with that assessment uh, for the most part? And what more do you think he needs to be doing right now to turn his fortunes around? I thought, particularly in the interview that he did with George Stephanopoulos, the president sounded in a bit of denial about the reality of where this election is. Uh, as things stand, if the election were held tomorrow, the Democrats would lose to Donald Trump. Uh, Biden now has actually quite a steep hill to climb, uh, both in the popular vote and in his standing in swing states. The polls do show that uh, alternative Democratic candidates are not, going, are not polling dramatically better than him. Kamala Harris um, in Seattle poll last week did seem to look uh, a bit stronger than Biden, but not overwhelmingly so. Uh, but at the same time, these candidates, uh, the alternatives, have not had an opportunity to put out their stall in the way that Joe, Joe Biden uh, has. Uh, I'm increasingly of the view that, uh, as especially now that people have come out in the Democratic Party and said that he's, they don't have confidence in him to carry on for the next four and a half years, I don't think you, you can have a nominee uh, in the Democratic Party that has uh, uh, that kind of doubt lingering over them. This is not just a question about can Joe Biden make it to November, but it's also can Joe Biden make it uh, in, until January of 2029. And if you ask Democrats, honestly, I, I don't think many really feel that, that that is the case. And you mentioned Donald Trump. Sources revealed to CNN that he and his campaign want President Biden to remain at the top of the ticket, presumably believing it would be easier to beat uh, the president rather than an alternative nominee. What do you say to that? Well, I certainly think that now, you know, maybe a few months ago, uh, that, that might not have been the case. Uh, but now that there is uh, significant doubt within the Democratic electorate over Biden's fitness to be president, uh, I could certainly see why the Trump campaign would want him to stay on. This is what I call an all hands on deck election. Uh, the, in order to defeat Donald Trump, Joe Biden is going to need the whole anti Trump coalition uh, to back him, not to splinter, not to vote for the third party candidates and also to turn out. Uh, and there's a real risk, I think, if this saga continues and Joe Biden remains the nominee, the Democratic enthusiasm for him will be depressed. And if it's depressed, uh, in those crucial swing states, which are decided by, uh, in some cases, tens of thousands, in some cases, a few thousand votes, uh, then, then the election could be lost for the Democrats. And if this is an election where democracy is on the ballot and the stakes are as high as Joe Biden indeed says, then I think that Joe Biden needs to think very carefully about his responsibilities, not just to his party, but also to his country. Richard Johnson, many thanks for your analysis. Appreciate it. Thank you.